Ivan. So today we have Subhradeep with us who has secured All India Rank 55 in Gate 2024 in EC question paper. So let's talk to him and get to know about his preparation. Yeah, yeah. Hi Subhradeep, how are you? Hello sir. So sir, I started preparing. Uh, I am actually a currently final year undergraduate student at Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology. So I started my preparation at around May and I completed it in January. And this was my second attempt. I gave my first attempt and uh, when I was in third year here, and I got a rank of around 4000. And this year I got a rank around uh, rank 55 in EC. Okay. So from 4000 to 55, that's, that's a huge improvement and <laughs> yes. congrats to you. So what did, what different did you do to uh, make this, this much of improvement? Uh, yes, and, uh, because last time which uh, when I prepared it was really random. Uh, so st- no, without any structure I was preparing. This time I planned everything out, which subjects I will first cover, what DPPs to solve. Then I, the main thing which I did this time was completely different was I gave a lot of test series. Last time I didn't give a single test series, I just went like that. So this uh, test series was a game changer for me this time. Yeah, actually, this is uh, creates a huge impact on, on our profession. Like you would get to know your mistakes. You would get to know how to yes. utilize the time. Yeah, these are the things. Mm-hmm. Can you, just one thing? Can you please hold your mic a little bit near you? Because uh, the yes. sound is. Yeah. Sir, is it better? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. So, like, when did you start your profession, and from which subject did you start preparing? Uh, sir, I started in May, and uh, I started with network theory. Network theory. Then I moved to signal system and then analog digital. Yes. So it was uh, starting, it was a little tough because I have to manage the college also. So I I used to study first two hours from seven to nine. Uh, from nine we have our college and then in the evening time I used to study. So was your college supportive in your profession? Don't say anything wrong about your college. Your degree is not completed yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, mean college was uh, normal standard only like everyone says yeah. attendance like was no they don't care much about college neither supportive nor yes. demotivating <laughs> yeah that's actually good <laughs> yeah so, okay that's pretty good and uh, when did you start uh, writing this series like is, was there any particular uh, time yes I started at end of November November I started from topic wise then Subject-wise, then full length. Alternate day, I used to give the test. Uh, any particular test series that you purchase, you can take their name. Uh, I purchased Made Easy Test Series. Okay, one only. Uh, uh, yes, and an academy I had uh, already. An academy in uh, free test is there. Was yes, there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, so, like, uh, do you remember how much marks did you used to get in full length test series? Like, topic wise uh, test series marks uh, doesn't matter much, but for full length test yeah. series marks. So, so starting, I used to get around 30, 40 marks and okay. and end, uh, during the end, I got around 60, more than 60 marks. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, great. So, constant improvement was there. So, what was your strategy after writing a particular test? Uh, sir, after writing a test, I used to look at every question, what went wrong. Or if I have done correctly also, I used to see if the solution matches my approach or not. And like this way, I used to, means I used to mark the formulas which I forgot in this test series, write it separately down. And like this way, I analyze the test series. Okay, great, great. Yeah, analyzing the test series is very important. Okay, yeah. So, any particular preparation strategy, like how much time did you revise your notes uh, or test series was enough for you? No, sir, I used to give alternate day test series. So, one day I used to do revision, next day I used to do test series test and analysis. Series. Yeah, that's great actually. Test series and... Revision of notes combined is more than enough for yes. your And any particular resources did you follow for your questions practice? Like people have doubt whether they should refer Canodia or standard books. Is there any particular resource? Sir, I practiced Canodia electronics okay. for and the DPPs of coaching. And DPP, Canodia and PYQ certainly would have. Yes, sir, PYQ. Yes. Okay. Yeah, great. So you referred to Canodia actually. I have never referred to Canodia. So can you give some... Brief overview of Canodia's book, like how uh, they are. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, Canodia, there are multiple exercises in there. So, okay. the, I used to only do the first one exercise only. 
okay. which had MCQs once, and I used to means there are many repeated concepts over there. So in repeated concept, I used to do only two problems, and then I used to move it. Like this way, it was faster and better. For me. So there are multiple exercises you told. Like in other exercises, yes, what yes. was there? Other uh, was uh, numerical type was also there. Okay. One theoretical type is also there. So did you find that book helpful? Like was that helpful? Questions were there. Uh, good questions were there. Or? No, sir. Means it was not that helpful, but it was helpful in practicing the formulas and like this. Okay. Sir. Okay. Great. So like you have referred to PYQ, DPPs, Canodia, uh, and Test Series. How would you rank? Yes. Them? What? Uh, sir, first, first of all, I would rank uh, PYQs. Okay. It was uh, main thing. Second, uh, test series and then DPP. DPP and, and then Canada. Yeah. yeah, that would be my order as well. Yeah, great. So, any any tip you want to give to the students who are viewing your uh, interview? So. Uh, yes, sir. One one thing I would say is uh, consistency is main thing. Yeah. Means we can start from uh, from network signals. These are easy subject, little bit, so it's we get it. But when we move towards communication, EMFT, these are tougher subjects. So we have to be consistent. And in starting of the test series, numbers are always low, and then it slowly, slowly grows. And yeah, like uh, yeah, this is a good thing. Like being consistent is the most important thing in your preparation, whether it is J preparation or gate preparation. Yeah, just wanted to ask, did you prepare for J as well? Yeah, yes, yes. I got a, I got a seventeen thousand rank in J advanced. Okay. Uh, I couldn't get into an IIT, but seventeen thousand. You were in batch of twenty, 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 twenty. Yeah, and J means? Uh, J means uh, I didn't remember. It was not that good. Around forty, forty. 40 yeah, J means is actually totally messed up nowadays. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, then from J to then you prepared for it, like. Uh, no one will tell that, but uh, those guys who have already prepared for JE, it is easier for them to prepare for GATE. That's uh, one thing uh, because we already have question practice. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir that's... Those who haven't prepared for JE, they also have good enough chance to prepare for GATE. They will just uh, need a bit more time. Yeah, great. So, and uh, like, uh, like uh, and a lot of students have these doubts that, that they forget uh, the concept. Uh, so, is there any particular way you used to uh, recall the concept? Did you make any short notes or anything like that? Uh, no, sir, not particularly short note. I used to write down the concept which I forget generally yeah. in a separate piece of paper and that I divided, revised daily. Yeah. yeah, actually, I also used to do the same. Just write down the concept that we forget. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. So, what's what are your future plans? Can you... Uh, so, so the currently the future plan is move to our higher studies, whether it's in India or abroad. Hmm. So I am not yeah. sure where whether I am going right now. But yeah. yeah, okay, you can take your call. Yeah, great. So you also told me that you referred to my analog electronics course as well. So yeah. can you give brief? brief yes. just, just for my promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, when I was preparing for my cadence interview for post silicon uh, role. I uh, the profile which they gave me was a uh, analog and digital mix signal type of profile. Mm -hmm. So for the analog preparation, I actually referred to your course and it was really helpful. Means I got a lot of concepts were similar. They asked in the interview, mm -hmm. so there were three rounds and first two rounds they basically asked analog only. Okay. So it was really helpful for me to crack that interview. Okay. Can you briefly tell about that cadence opportunity that you got? Like uh, how did you approach uh, anything? Yeah, yes. Uh, I actually saw it on LinkedIn uh, when opening was there. One of the managers of their team posted it. So okay. I sent my resume in via email and I got shortlisted. I got okay. an interview call. So first round uh, was technical, completely te technical. They asked mainly analog, uh, gate-based, only gate-based, only they asked first round. And a few of the digital questions they asked. In the second round, it was completely analog, but a little higher than the gate level they asked. With RC circuits and all this, they asked mm -hmm. conceptual means intuitively they told to solve these questions. Okay. And uh, in the final round, it was a normal HR type. Normal answer. HR, okay. And then you got the offer. But uh, due to some reason, you were not able to join. You told yes, me sir. Yeah. Due to some reason. Okay. okay. No worries. Yeah. Okay. Then best of luck, uh, Subhadeep, and I wish you all the best for your. Uh, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.